guys, it's Melanie. So today I have a review for you of another Tarte holiday set and this time it is the Tarte Sculpted Cheeks Deluxe Blush Set and Brush. I already took it out of the packaging only because it's a nightmare to get out of here and it's really kind of loud and obnoxious. But this is the box that you get with it. So the packaging's really cute. Um, it is $35. I purchased this through Ulta. I will link it down below for you. And it's kind of nice because on the back they do have a little to and from. It's very gift friendly. Um, and I like, I really like the overall design of their packaging this year. The four blushes each have a unique design on them. And you get 0.15 grams or 0 0.05 ounces of blush in each one of these. So it's a decent sized blush. Um, here is the pan right here. And I thought I'd go ahead and compare to the Color Wheel, which is the other Tarte Blush product that I got. And each of these are 0 0.084 ounces. So let me go ahead and open this up and then hold one of these next to that. So, oops, <laughs> forget that you can't really stick your finger there. So there is the size comparison. So you're getting a little bit more product here. And obviously this one did not come with a brush. You're just getting the 10 um, blushes and, you know, highlighter products in there. So uh, this is the brush, by the way. Let's go ahead and start with this. I haven't even used this because honestly, I, I don't understand the point of this for blush. There's no way this would work for me. One, my, my face is enormous. The type of blush brush that I prefer is definitely a larger head. I also prefer natural bristle brushes for blush. This one's from Sonia Kashuk, and um, this just fits my cheeks perfectly. So this is what I've used. I suppose that you could definitely use this for highlighter. It would be great for the tops of the cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose. Um, it's not terrible. But it's also not the greatest brush either. So obviously synthetic bristles there and the fact that it's white I don't think is really ideal. But it's nice to have a brush when you are purchasing blushes. So, you know, it's, it's kind of a nice addition. Let's go ahead and start with swatching here. So the first one I'm going to swatch for you is the Vibrant. This is the front of the Vibrant color. And then obviously no mirror. And as I'm swatching, I will talk about the formulation. These are not the 12 hour wear formulation. Just in case you're curious, I'm going to swatch this on my arm because the backs of my hands are very dry. So there you go. That is the color Vibrant. Very pretty coral shade, I would say. And um, a little bit powdery. Not a little bit, a lot powdery. <laughs> The second one I will swatch is the color Genius. This is the design on the front of the Genius. And then, there we go. This is a really pretty mauve, rosy mauve shade. Swatch that right underneath. I'm doing pretty heavy swatches. You can see just how powdery they are on my arm there. The next one is Pop. This is the design on the front of Pop. And Pop is a brighter pink. I have actually worn this one on my cheeks. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on these here in a second. I wanna get the swatching done first so that you can really get a sense of um, the texture of these. You might know where I'm going with this. And then the last one is Royal. And Royal is actually what I have on my cheeks today. And it's a really pretty rosy nude. It's a beautiful color. The idea of it's very beautiful, let's just say that. <laughs> There's a swatch. This one's the driest, I would say, out of all of them. And swatches the worst. And also applies the worst. <laughs> I essentially don't look like I have any blush on my face. And I applied this so aggressively, you guys. I mean, I dipped my brush in here so many times and tried to build it up. I could not build it up. Also, the pop color. I tried wearing this one on my cheeks the other day. It looked chalky 
and not pigmented at all when I applied it with a brush. It swatches like there might be some pigmentation, but there is there's none. I had to put another blush over top because I was recording videos that day. And um, yeah, I, I, I couldn't be more disappointed in the formulation of these blushes, to be completely honest. And I expected that because I've seen several other people review these and um, they were disappointed as well. The formulation is terrible, you guys. I don't think this set is worth $35. I have drugstore blushes that are way better quality than these. They are not pigmented, they're chalky, they're not smooth, they don't apply with a brush. They also are not pigmented. They're just, they're bad and honestly I'm going to return this set. There's no way I'm going to keep this because I'm basically just going to end up purging it from my collection in about a year and I will have never used them. It's not even worth it for me to keep the brush because I don't think the brush is that great either. The um, handle is very, it feels very cheap and it's a very like lightweight. Not that I expected anything fantastic for $35, but overall I was really disappointed in this one. I have to say if you are looking at any of the holiday sets, I do recommend the color wheel because the pigmentation is much better and the formulation of these is much better. I don't know why it's so different, but when you look on the back of this, um, where the ingredients are, it'll tell you where it's made. And these blushes are actually made in Taiwan. The brush is made in China. These blushes are made in China. So, I don't know why they didn't just have these made in the same factory. I, I don't know what the factors are playing into that. Probably profit. But these are terrible compared to these. And these aren't the best either. These are not the Amazonian clay blush formula either. Like they're not the original formulation. But they are worlds better than these guys here. So if you're looking to invest in any of the holiday sets for yourself or as a gift for someone. This one I would feel confident giving as a gift. This, absolutely not. Don't waste your money on this, you guys. I, I'm not sure how they even felt comfortable releasing this. Maybe they didn't test them prior to release, but I'm not a fan. So I'll be returning this one to Ulta. Um, so kind of bummed. Let me know if you pick this up and you have a different experience. There can always be batch variation. But honestly, the reviews that I've seen have been very similar to mine in that it's just not a good set. The pigmentation isn't there. The quality isn't there. Not for $35. So I don't even think this is something that I would give to my daughter if she was old enough to wear makeup. You know, if she was like in middle school or high school, I think I would probably give her the color wheel so that she had some good selection. I would not give her this. <laughs> it would probably just infuriate her <laughs> to try to have to build that up. So, eh, not a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any additional questions down below in the comments, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.